for many Office 365 environments, did you know that you can actually share information and invite others to Teams calls with them not even being part of your tenant? Now, for most environments, this is absolutely true. And today, we're going to jump right into that and see how to do it. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is open up our Windows, our Office 365 environment within our browser, which we've done here. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the waffle there and go to Teams. Now, when it prompts to go to Teams, I'm going to use the web version for this illustration. You can use the, um, the client as well, but we're just going to use the web version and see how it's loading up here. And now we can see it's going directly to our calendar. It might come into our Teams area, but we're just going to click here on Calendar and we're going to make an appointment. We're going to set that appointment to right here to, let's just say, that time right there, 4.30 p.m. Now here what I want to do is add in the name of the meeting. So we're just going to type in test meeting here. Pretty easy, right? And we're going to invite other people. So here what we're going to do is add a foreign user. So we're just going to type in Jeff. And you see here, right here under msn.com, we're just going to click on that. And now we have 4.30 to 5 p.m. For third, um, a foreign person, right, to our tenant. So... And once we hit send, you notice here that it's creating this meeting for us called test meeting. It's uh, You can see it kind of working in the background there. When we click on this meeting, notice now it automatically added for us the join. I'm going to expand that meeting up so you can see everything. So it automatically in put join on here and allowed us to click there. But what we want to do now is go and see what it looks like from the other person's perspective. And now as we pull up that email, we're going to see here we got a test message. Notice here it's from technologymilestones.com, so we're not within that tenant, but this is what it looks like within our calendar. So we can go ahead and RSVP to this and say accept, and now the meeting's accepted. And when we see it on our calendar here, let's go ahead and go over to today right there. Do you see it? It says test meeting says that it's Teams call, and we click on that meeting, all we have to do is click Join, and we will automatically join the meeting. It's really that easy to invite your friends within your tenant or, with, or not within your Office 365 environment. You can send them information and invite them to your Teams meeting.